is the opening day of the archery hunt here in Utah. And I got out really early this morning, took off from the house about 4, 4.30. Got up to a spot where I've been seeing a couple of uh, a good bucks. Got in here before dark, got settled, and just could not find the bucks that I had been looking for. So I ended up coming down this ridge seeing if I could get a better look at the, the area and see if I could find them kind of feeding in these these pockets. It's going to be a warm day, although we do have a chance of rain today. I was hoping that they'd be out feeding and drinking a little bit later this morning, but it's about 8.30 now, and so I'm going to work my way over here to this ridge, and hopefully from that ridge I can kind of see down to a pond where I've seen them coming in and coming in and hopefully I can catch them coming in during the the warmer part of the day before the storm moves in super excited guys super excited to finally be out here it's time it's go time it's the the moment we've been waiting for for a very long time this is a long hunt it's a month long hunt here in Utah for the archery hunt so I'm just going to take my time and see if I can find the buck that I'm looking for so Let's get after it. Let's head back to this other ridge. I walked that ridge back and I did see one deer coming across there but nothing worth nothing worth going after. So made it back here to the side by side. It's about midday, grab some lunch real quick. I'm just sitting here overlooking a, a bluff here on top of this ridge where I can see some of the clearings. I've um, got a pretty cool rock outcropping here and a lot of times those bucks like to bed down right at the base of those out those rock outcroppings. So kind of hoping one moves in as the as the day progresses. Haven't seen a whole lot today so far. Um, kind of expected that. I figured the ones I saw would I'd probably be able to go after. But like I said, I saw that one. Not going to go after him on, on day one. But had a couple guys come and talk to me. They thought they saw a buck over here. And so they are headed after that. Um, I'm kind of sitting up here seeing what happens with them. I'm going to hang out here probably till early afternoon, mid-afternoon. Just see if anything gets moving around. I've got another storm building behind me. Man, when those storms come in, they dump a lot of rain in a hurry. So, I got like I said, I got this other one building behind me. So once it rains, I'm gonna try to hunker down and stay as dry as possible. And then after it's cleared, hopefully we get some some bugs moving around here so that we can start chasing some. We'll sit here for a minute and then uh, go chase a big old buck. Feel it sinking in Lonely faces Say you need a friend No matter the distance I will always be there No more in the vision I'll show you I care You've been lost in a Well guys, that's a wrap on day number one here in the Utah archery hunt. I'm not hunting tomorrow, it's Sunday, and so I try not to hunt on Sunday. Um, just been something I've tried to do my entire life is just uh, keep the Sabbath day holy and so I don't don't hunt on Sunday but I'll be back at it on Monday I believe that my buddy Mike Wardle and his father-in-law Paul are gonna join me I think we're gonna try going up the canyon here a little bit but 
it is just about dark. There's a, another storm moving in. It has been so wet today. I feel like I've been in Alaska on our caribou hunt. I've been putting my ring gear on and off all day long. Um, so it'd be nice to get home and get showered and get dry. Saw a lot of deer today, which was great. Um, I made one little one stalk on a little two point just to practice got to about 38 yards away from him and uh, could have smoked him. We'll let him live and, and see another day. We will call it quits for uh, day one and we will be back at it again on Monday. I'm nervous on the surface, I look fine My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes Whoa, whoa I'm petty, but I know how to lie I feel feelings that I can't describe I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive Whoa It's not too windy and I'm kind of in a spot where I need to be quiet, but um, I got myself dinner tonight <laughs> These uh, pine hens run around up in here and man, they're delicious So they make a great meal so I'm gonna cook him up tonight for dinner and This will be eating good See if we can get a deer down and add some meat to the pile. I know that it's not easy, but I believe I will. You all get over all my fears and really conquer everything. I think I'll be all
All right, guys, what's up? I was uh, able to sneak in on that, on that buck. Just wasn't able to make it happen. Austin was on the camera and got some pretty good footage of me stalking down to him. It was about a 40 minute stalk down to that buck. Wasn't the biggest buck in the world, but I was pretty excited about him. Um, you know, last, pretty much the last day I get to hunt is today. And, and so got to at least make a move on him. But as you can see in the video, I, I went down, uh, it was only about probably 80 to hundred yards that I had to get down there to get close enough to get a shot off on him and, uh, snuck down, just took my time, went as quiet as I could using, you know, the topography of the land to be able to kind of hide my, my noise as well as my movement and got down to 40 yards and he was sitting there raking a tree and I thought, oh, perfect. He's making a lot of noise. He's never going to know that I'm, I'm here. And so at 40 yards, drew back, let it fly. He took off, it hit him. He took off, ran down about a hundred yards and then kind of went to go up this little, little ravine thing and he, he couldn't do it. And when he was doing that, I could see the fletchings of my arrow, which that kind of disappoints me a little bit, but I could see the fletchings of my arrow sticking out um, right where you want it to go in. Perfect shot right behind the shoulder. I would imagine it's a double lung shot if I was to guess, but he went to go up that little hill, couldn't, started walking backwards, stumbled and fell over. And I um, thought for sure that he was dead right there. I went and got Austin and my backpack. We hiked down there and found blood, tracked the blood for about four hours. Didn't go a long ways because um, there wasn't a ton of blood. Uh, well, in certain areas there weren't. There were other areas where I was finding blood clots like the size of a softball. Um, finally, the blood ran out. We gritted that entire area for a couple of hours trying to find him. Never could turn him up. So finally just had to cut our losses and head back because, yeah, you know, because of time and, and whatnot. So wasn't able to, to get him. So super bummed. Uh, we'll probably be in this area later today. So we'll see, you know, see what happens. I can't imagine that he's still alive but we'll we'll keep looking see what else that we can find um i'm gonna be very picky at this point now that i've i shot him that's pretty much my tag punch whether i find him or not so anyways guys i'm beat it was a long hike trying to find him the hike down to to pull the trigger wasn't very tough but man the rest of that hike was was a little bit crazy so but in good spirits and Austin and I are gonna do a little driving and see what we can find. Well, that's a wrap for last day of my hunt. Um, Austin and I kind of hung out, he took a nap. We actually both took a nap during the middle of the day. That, that walk wore us out, I'll put a picture up. I took a picture of uh, Austin when he was sleeping, but wore us out, but we spent the rest of the evening hunting, didn't see anything to chase, so. That's okay. Like I said, with me shooting that one, that kind of punches my tag and call it quits. So sun is just going down. You can kind of see the last bit of light there. Um, we're going to kind of, I got acorns dropping on me. We're going to kind of hunt our way out of here, um, but not going to get too crazy with it. But it's been a, it's been a fun hunt. I had a good time. Chased a lot of good animals, so can't complain. But it's getting a little chilly. I've uh, been kind of impressed with how cold it's getting. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here before it gets too dark and before we can't see anything. But I will do a final wrap up maybe when we get back to the truck. A little video of kind of wrapping things up, but it's been a lot of fun. Well guys, this brings us to the end of the Utah General Archery Hunt. Man, that was a lot of fun. Had a, had a good time, got to chase a lot of really good animals. Um, didn't get out as much as I was really hoping that I would get out, but was able to get out quite a bit. Hunted many days during this month, and um, again, saw some really good animals. Cool thing is, I was able to make a lot of stocks on some pretty good bucks. The one buck that I chased all summer long 
at least when we could have trail cameras and, and whatnot. Never able to make a move on him, but hopefully my son will be able to, to make a move on him during the rifle hunt. We'll see. I'm not sure if he'll stay in there. I think he will. I mean, he was in there all summer, and I, I don't see a reason why he'll he'll leave. But we did our best, and yeah, just had an enjoyable hunt, and we'll look forward to next year.